When we say low light photography, we are referring to a key factor in the process of taking a photograph. In normal conditions, the camera has enough natural light entering the camera. In low light situations, for example at night or inside a dark building, there isn't enough natural light available for the camera to capture, which often results in a poor picture due to limited exposure. When little natural light is available, you have two options. You can either increase the camera sensitivity to light, or adjust the length of time the camera shutter is open. Both will result in a brighter image. The first element we want to look at in this video is the ISO number. Essentially, the ISO number is the sensor's sensitivity for capturing and recording the light going into the camera. You can adjust the sensor, making it more or less sensitive to capture as much or as little light as needed, depending on how much is available. For low light situations, you want the ISO to make the sensor much more sensitive, to capture as much light as possible to compensate for the lack of natural light available. The higher the ISO number, the more sensitive the sensor, which then amplifies light capture to give a brighter exposure. A low ISO between 100 and 400 is best used when the surrounding light is bright. A mid ISO between 800 and 3200 comes into play for indoors or when the weather is overcast, for example, and the light is poor. A high ISO between 6400 and 51200 is what you'll need for low light photography. This is where the sensor is at its most sensitive and will amplify the light to compensate for the lack of light. Ideally, you want to keep the ISO number as low as possible, as this will give you the best image quality. When increasing your ISO, it is important to note that images can have more noise or grain than images captured at lower ISO. This takes us on to the next element of shutter speed. If you have a tripod available to keep the camera steady and want to reduce the noise in your image or capture a more creative image, you can use a slow shutter speed, which is not possible when the camera is handheld. So in terms of shutter speed, anything below 1 60th of a second will need to be used with a tripod to eliminate shake. For example, if you want to photograph a landscape sunset with limited light and a small aperture to ensure a sharp image, a longer shutter speed of a third of a second or more will be needed. This will be well exposed with little noise due to a low ISO, being made possible due to the tripod and a longer shutter speed. If you want to be more creative with a tripod and a longer exposure, you can create light trails. This is achieved by leaving the shutter open for four seconds or more while subjects are moving across the frame. The types of subjects that will help you achieve these creative images are moving cars and sparklers. Essentially, anything with lights that enable you to capture movement. There are three fundamental factors that are important for every photographer to understand, all of which affect the amount of light that goes into the camera and how the camera performs. These are one, the aperture, two, the ISO number, and three, the shutter speed. They all work in tandem with each other and are therefore often referred to as the exposure triangle. Check out our other videos that deal with each of these factors in more detail.